To Daleville, a packed room at the city school's board of education meeting late yesterday afternoon. Tiffany McGrath with us. You were there. School employees, uh, one in particular, accused of sexual harassment of a fellow employee, and many at the meeting to address the board about this controversial issue. What happened last night at that meeting? Well, Ben, yeah, emotions of outrage flooded the room as people expressed their concerns about the school bus mechanic accused of inappropriate sexual behavior to a school bus driver. Now, the board suspended the man accused of the misconduct, but some say the punishment just is not enough. No comment, no comment was the response from board members after some people addressed the Devil School's Board of Education at its meeting Wednesday afternoon. This has been going on since May the 7th of 2018. I don't want to be worried about walking through the school bus shop alone by myself and no one else on the yard taking a chance of him coming up and grabbing me. No one should put their hands on you. The board said in order to protect the good name and character of the man accused, the people that address the board would have to do so privately in the executive session. Devil Schools bus driver Dina Rigger was one of the people who spoke. I said don't do it because you're friends with him or you're friends with his daddy or it's a good old buddy system. A petition has been circulating to release the surveillance footage of the incident that occurred in May. Where he is, takes his hand and he puts it on my tail, scratch, squeezes it. I put my hands on his chest, I, I pushed him off, and then he goes, I go to the front of my bus, sat in the driver's seat, he followed me up there, and in the doorway he is rubbing all over his genital area. Most were angered about the school board's July meeting when members voted not to follow the superintendent's recommendation to terminate the employee. Instead, the man was suspended without pay for 20 days. I want him terminated. If he will do this to a 50-year-old woman, what will he do substituting our buses to our children? I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to stop. Put your daughter or your wife or your mom in that position, please. Now, at the conclusion of the meeting, the board members did not comment on whether any additional action would be taken. Of course, we will continue to follow this story as new developments occur. All right, Tiffany McGrath, thanks so much for that report. A lot of people courageously speaking out there, too, and, right. and we appreciate their efforts as well. Thanks so much. Let's stroll outside and get a check of traffic right now. Wet.